Hey everyone, uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about being a couple minutes late, had some issues with Restream and OBS didn't want to play nice and had to re-authenticate, all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm Kyle, one-fourth of the Subpixel team. Uh, Ian and Will are both busy, so you're stuck with me for the night. So that means you're also stuck with me playing Fire Emblem because that's sort of what I'm working my way through. So, let's get started. We're going to be playing Fire Emblem... Radiant Dawn, which is the sequel to Path of Radiance, which was a GameCube game, and uh, Radiant Dawn was a Wii game. So we're going to jump into it right now. Hopefully you can see. Yes, there we go. All right, let's see if we have some audio. I think I need to fix. OBS is just all sorts of messed up today, and I thought I had it. I thought I had it right. Apparently not. Oh, man, that music's quite toasty. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right, so uh, for those of you who haven't played this before, Fire Emblem, it's like a sort of turn-based RPG kind of thing. Uh, I think this one was made in 2007 or 2006, something like that. Like I said, direct sequel to Path of Radiance, which was the first game that featured Ike. Let's get started. Alright, so what I'm playing right now is uh, I'm using my save file from Path of Radiance, and there's some character support system uh, things that carry over into this game. So I've already got that set up, and we're just going to go from here and see how, see how it goes. I haven't played this in like 10 years, so it's been a minute. Wasting our time. There's no one here. I know I heard something. Hush, Nick. Please don't cry. If they hear you, they'll give us away. Some of the voice acting in this is not great. Who's there? <laughs> also, I think they have more of these FMVs in this game than they do in the first one. There's only like six in the first one. Is it the Dawn Brigade? Is it? No. It was just a bird. <laughs> that idiot. She won't see me. Gotcha. I'm like vaguely remembering how this starts. Look. Silver hair. If it's the fortune teller, we'll be heroes. Without her, the Dawn Brigade is nothing. That's uh, Sophie, or so Soth, I think it's Soth or Sophie. He was in the first game, Path of Radiance, as a, a little thief assassin guy you could play. Actually, you could only level him up to level 20 as a thief. You couldn't make him go any higher. It was only so useful. Okay, and that is Makaya. She's the leader of the Dawn Brigade, which is like a resistance sort of faction of super young kids. So, see how that works out. So, Dane is uh, sort of like Germany in World War, before World War II. They like tried to take over the continent and lost. So, now everything sucks there. But the Dawn Brigade is, all these guys are from Dane. Something must have happened to him. There we go. Don't worry, he'll be here. I'm not going to do voices for all these, so don't worry. Use your farsight to see what Leonardo, when Leonardo will arrive. You know that's not how it works. Oh man, I love this. 
help someone please help us oh it's a little boy oh well it's an old lady not the bandits Um, so, Begnion is uh, sort of like the big uh, capital, uh, like the biggest, I guess they're different countries, but really they're more like different regions of the of the same country or, or continent. Begnion is the biggest one. They have uh, this very, you know, traditionally sort of aristocratic uh, government set up. And there's like an apostle who's sort of like the Pope, but she has much more power than our Pope does. And uh, when Dan lost the war in the first one, Ben Yan, like, took over. So they're, like, overseeing. And obviously, uh, there's some there's some thugs we got to take care of. Don't worry about us. Oh, you're in the Dawn Brigade, but you're just children. Oh. Please be careful. I'll try. Try my best. You know we're going to kill some people. A lot of people for two kids to take down. Oh, I think we get more. I think we get one. I think we get like an archer or something. All right. So this is the way the game works. You select your person. You can move a certain amount of uh, spaces. Obviously, if there wasn't a guy here, I could probably move more. So if you played Fire Emblem before, very much the same. Although maybe a little bit outdated at this point. So we're gonna do Micaiah first because she's a cleric or a light mage, so she can use light magic. Oh, she's speaking the ancient language. Oh, I gotta change some of these settings. So, whenever I play Fire Emblem, I don't like playing with this. Because it takes way too much time. And I, I don't care about the animations. So it's doing some weird stuff to the... Uh... Uh, we'll do... I'd like to see the EXP. Yeah, we'll do that one. Yeah, we'll do that one detailed okay so now watch this this will be a little bit different see it's just that they have their uh, little uh, 3d versions do it instead of going into the whole battle arena phase so we got more people coming I really hope this doesn't crash I've been playing with the dolphin emulator and it's been a little wonky with this one um, I don't know why if for some reason it does crash I'll probably just... I'll go to Path of Radiance, just in case that passes. Because I know that one was a little more solid. Also, if anyone has any questions um, about Fire Emblem, let me know. Because I can probably answer them. Although, I will admit, I have not played the uh, new Fire Emblem games for like the 3DS and stuff like that. Any of the old stuff, though, I can probably answer your questions. All right, so what that was was like a super attack, which is normally a, a one-hit KO. There he is. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm actually playing this. It's a... <laughs> It's a sequel to a GameCube game that was made for the Wii, and I'm playing it on my PC using an emulator, using an Xbox 360 controller. So we got the whole, we got the whole gang here for uh, all this stuff, Just incorporating as many things as we possibly can. Got that corporate synergy, although it's with different companies, so I don't know how that would work. All right, so he leveled up. And it just picks random stats to upgrade. You can see he's got, you know, for for being a level five character, he's he's slightly powerful, but he's really weak when it comes to his HP. He doesn't have that much. So what you can do is use these vulneries, or you could use an herb. I always just use the vulneries to heal slightly if you don't have a healer. go yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Yeah, so archers, um, unless you upgrade them, I don't think they're able to actually hit uh, if their enemy's too close to them. There has to be like a square between them and the enemy. So like, watch this. It's not as responsive as Path of the Radiance was. I, I could like fly through Path of Radiance. This is a little bit more slow. All right, we'll see what this boss does. Oh, he doesn't do anything. Who do you think you are? Better than you, apparently. All right, so the cool thing is I'm using Makaya. Actually, I'm going to try and... Yeah, I know. I skip a lot of the dialogue because it's just stupid. Yay, we won. That's the first level. Dang, he leveled up a lot. He's got decent strength and defense for just starting out. So he's probably going to be someone I'm going to rely on uh, for a while. Stop immediately! So those are the Bengyan, Beg Beg Begnian soldiers. I never know how to pronounce this. Begnian. So they have to run. Because I think there were bandits and the, the soldiers weren't doing anything. But we shall see. Sorry, we have to leave. Hey, lady! When I grow up, I want to kill bandits too. I guess there are worse things you could want to be. General Jared! Let me know if this is, like, too loud for anyone. Um, this music... Because it's hard, a little hard to tell. Because the game, like, blasts it so loud. Not a very good uh, general. Just killing off your, your own people. I'm sure, if you want them to fear you. Beat the first level. I think this one has narration. The first one Tell didn't. Us, yes. The year 648, early summer. The northeastern nation of Dayan lost a bloody war with neighboring Crimea three years ago. Crimea, however, abdicated its right to rule Dayan and passed sovereignty of its former enemy to the powerful Benyon Empire. Dayan's future Benyon. is now subject to the whims of the Empire. Benyon's occupation forces have gathered all Dayan men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. Their work is brutal and void of purpose, designed to break both body and spirit. The remaining population faces poverty and starvation as the fields lie fallow. A band of young heroes has escaped the Benyon army to form a group called the Dawn Brigade. Fighting for a free day in, they alone have stood against Benyon's forces. They alone have shouldered the hopes of their nation. They're literally like Among 14. Among the company is a young girl named Micaiah who is said to possess mystical powers. The people of Dayan have come to know her as the Silver-Haired Maiden. 
They have come to think of her as the savior for whom they had been waiting. Ben Yan's forces have tried time and again to capture and silence the Dawn Brigade. However, Micaiah's ability to sense impending danger has thus far allowed the Dawn Brigade to evade the Empire's grasp. Maiden of Miracles. Like you said, we didn't have a choice. We had to save Nico and the townsfolk, but I admit getting spotted by those Benyon soldiers was unfortunate. This is our country. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Occupying soldiers march around like they own the place, doing whatever they want. No one dares stop them. Who could be speaking? Oh, it's Sothi and Nolan. Welcome back. But you are unusually late. That's normally what people tell me. So, um, everybody's a little bit older in this one. I think it's like two years or three years. I can't remember what the guy said at the beginning, but they're older. So Sothi was like a tiny little kid and he sprouted like a weed in this one. Run in with bandits. So there's obviously a lot of storytelling in this one. Um, you do spend the majority of the game actually in game, but uh, I know in this one especially, there's a lot of conversations that go on. I like that stuff because I like the world building and I like the characters, um, but it's just me. So I think we got to escape now. So Nolan is, um, I guess he's sort of like the the dad of the group, and Sothi and uh, or S Sothe and Makai are like the brother and sister kind of. They're like adopted brother and sisters, but Nolan's like the heavy hitter guy with a big axe, so he's gonna be pretty strong. I like vaguely remember doing this. Skills have improved, but you're still new to fighting. I have a feeling I'm gonna, someone's gonna die, and I'm gonna have to restart. I so I played Path of Radiance without anyone dying, which I was very, uh, very happy about. All right, what do these guys have? He's got a bronze axe, bronze axe. Oh, he's got a javelin, so I need someone who can hit back behind uh, Nolan. And Makai is too weak, so I don't want to put her directly there. All right, let's see what happens. Captain Isaya. It appears to be the Dawn Brigade. Yeah, so much for being experienced, Nolan. Just got hit the very first one. Twice! You got hit twice! Good lord. Well, that's one guy. Man, something is up with the, the emulation of this game. I don't know if you guys can hear it. The audio is really... Like some of the music... Some of the sound effects are really not doing this game any favors. There we go. One more time.
Nice. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Nolan up here. I'm gonna bottleneck that. Send Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio to visit this place. Normally when you visit um, open houses or uh, buildings, someone will be there and they'll give you something. So like, I got a hand axe, which is an axe that can be thrown. Um, so it gives um, warriors or uh, axemen the ability to hit someone one extra space away. That was good. Leo leveled up. Nice. Sometimes, uh, I don't know if they fixed it in this one, or if it's just a staple of Fire Emblem, but um, every once in a while, you'll level up, and nothing will level up. Like, no stats will change at all, and it's really annoying. I don't know what the point is of, of the system doing that. If you're leveling up, you something should always increase. And sometimes it just doesn't really stupidly frustrating. Right. Yeah, something about this is like very sensitive and weirdly not sensitive enough on some of the controls. Path of Radiance was like you could freaking fly through that if you wanted to. Right, I'm going to send this guy's range. An iron axe is a level three. It's a level six. I'm gonna send him out here and see what he can do. I'm trying to get everybody some uh, experience points at some point. Almost. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. That's not good. Okay. Alright. Well, I can deal with that. So now realistically, these guys should take... Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll be, I'll be okay. Yep. <gasps> okay, so... I need to kill this guy. So let's move up a little bit. I think Nolan could take him out. <laughs> I also don't play the game you're like the way you're supposed to actually play it. There we go. All right, so I had to take him out. Really, I just have to step on the glowing area. That's that's all that matters. Okay. Oof. Doesn't attack twice, that's all that matters. Alright. This should be good now, unless that guy has a jai. It's very close. Alright, so unless someone has a longbow, I should be able to, to leave this area. Yeah. Right, so, use Micaiah and escape. I haven't embarrassed myself just yet. Hey, lady. Oh, I think this is, I think Nico dies here or someone dies and it like spawns the, uh, it, it basically gets Micaiah angry enough that she's like, we're going to take care of this stuff. And yeah. Or they, like, kill townspeople. Or I don't know if they would kill a child. It's pretty, pretty, pretty big leap for Nintendo to make. Oh! 
they actually did it. They killed a the kid. I can't believe it. Man, Nintendo with the uh, the heavy hitting story beats. Yeah, so the Venyan uh, soldiers have sort of overstepped their boundaries by quite a lot. Not to get political, but so is America. <laughs> In so many ways. Yeah, he couldn't stay dead for too long. I'm back. Now she's all weak. Always good to have the townspeople by my side, willing to die for me, twice if necessary. You dullards. Kill, kill, kill. It's just a killing machine. Good lord. Yeah, there's a lot of bad people in this army, apparently. probably play maybe it depends on how long each chapter is maybe to chapter five that should give me about another hour so i'll just stream for until 10 30 maybe i don't know it depends how you guys are feeling if anyone's watching you know comment uh if you want to know anything about fire emblem or want to talk or chat or get me to say something stupid always willing i think Alara is a priestess or a healer of some kind. Lord Kiska. You sure you don't mind killing all these people because I need something? Sure, we do it all the time. No problem. Forget about it. Oh, I was here last time. I do remember this. Uh... Oh, wait, no. This is a little bit different. We didn't have these jumps. All right. Well, whatever. Great. What do you got? Come on, dude. So close. If he did a little bit more damage, he'd be really effective. But now, instead of... Oh, crap. This game is all about um, not just the strength and abilities of your people, of your uh, the characters that you're managing, but also um, the the turn balance. So like, if it takes your characters, you know, like two turns to do something, you want to level them up so that it takes less turns, so that you expend less of your resources and you're using less people to accomplish one task, like killing one enemy, you want one person to be able to do that in one turn. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of resource management, a little bit of uh, intelligent uh, placement, and a little bit of luck. Every once in a while, you, you can go and do something that's, uh, you know, uh, maybe a little bit reckless. You just gotta keep going. Let's see, like a 
Uh, and then the nice thing is you can always see. So like I'm looking at collectively how far these guys can move. So Nolan is in probably this guy's range. Yeah, but everyone else is not. So then you can come down here. How far can this guy hit? How far can this guy move? So like he can come up here and attack someone who's over here. So really, if I move someone up here, no one's going to go after him, at least this turn, because no one's going to be able to, to hit him. Oh, I forgot something was up there. So I'm pretty sure um, it depends on if you've played Path of Radiance before, the game uh, prior to this one. But you get stat boosts if you use characters that you've uh, played in that game. And I leveled up Sothe all the way to level 20. So I think he's got a few stat boosts. Um, or he's a few levels higher than he normally would have been if you hadn't played that game. So he's pretty powerful. I mean, he's already taken out a bunch of people. And he's a thief, which is... Or, excuse me, he's a rogue. Yeah, he's got really good skills. Like... I mean, his defense is not that great, um, but his skill level and his strength are really good. So basically how this works is normally, um, for, for most characters, you, you can uh, level them up to level 20, and then once you get past level 20, they turn into a new type of... Uh, um, like, he goes from a rogue to being maybe an assassin. Like, you upgrade their class, um, and that gives them a big stat boost right then and there. And then you get another 20 levels to level up that character. Um, so, the high technically, you can get up to level 40, but it doesn't read it as 40. It just reads it as another 20, but it's in a, a higher class. Right, this guy's being real annoying. There we go. So this game also features um, a lot of uh, support conversations. So it's important to, one, have characters stand next to each other because that increases their support ability. Um, so like you, you can unlock certain conversations with people. There are burglars in the house. Now they See, they realize who, who I am. Which means they're probably going to... Uh, so I don't really want to go... I shouldn't have moved over there. I, I don't want those guys to chase me. So I want to come over here. Let's see, Sethi doesn't have... That's unfortunate. All right, we'll just wait. these guys up here the nice thing is um, there are certain um, rules that so like you can uh, you can go to the options I think no I can oh yeah up, just up in the top left hand corner it says like you will achieve victory if Laura arrives at this spot so I need to get her to that blue spot but I'm not limited by turns, so I can do whatever I want until I accomplish that. So, like, I'm going to bring Sothe over here. I'm going to bring... Mm. This should be good. He's probably going to come up here and attack Micaiah. No? He's not going to do that at all? That's crazy. It's crazy talk. Level up. So, if you have someone like a healer, you want to try and get them to heal at least one person um, each turn, because that'll give them more experience. So, he still missed. Critical. 
That's a critical hit. He rolled a natural 20. All right, so I'm going to send Sothe down here again, and he's going to start opening some chests, because that's one of his abilities. So Wind Edge is a sword that's sort of like a magical sword. Um, bring her over here, move her over here, move her over here. All right, so he's going to go attack Sothe and probably miss. Yep. Sothe's just too strong. Another chest cube. So you do get certain um, attributes that are attached to uh, floors. So like if someone's attacking you from the ground, it's going to be harder for them to hit you if you're above them. A nice little addition there. And then if, okay, so that's like an upper, yeah, it's like a light. So like I think Micaiah could use this, maybe. Let's see what happens. I would assume, yeah, I would assume that they would come up here. So they're just archers. Yep. you can trade items with people so I'm gonna see if Micaiah can use this yet she can so she can use pretty like mid-level light magic which is cool great let's move her over here guys are level seven so a little bit higher level try and soften this guy up a bit heal nolan oh it's so close to actually hitting him all right so he can only go after nolan so if I put him here, he's probably going to go after the weaker level guy. Yep. Which is fine. He can take a hit. Oh. See, that's, that's, that's the issue I have. And he can't die in this level because it's an instant game over. And the other one um, in Path of Radiance. So I, now i got to start over. Luckily, I think I can just skip past all the conversations. Yep. All right, so I gotta start over. That was my bad. That was a stupid decision because I wasn't looking at the other guy. I was looking at the the guy behind him. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe be a little bit smarter. It's always what's frustrating is coming off of um, playing Path of Radiance. I'm so used to having just ridiculously like overpowered characters to play with. So I tend to forget when you get to that level. You tend to forget like, oh, like I don't have to worry if this mage, you know, or, or like um. So there's like a the magical users like who do like the elemental magic. They're like mages, and then if you level them up all the way and change the class they're called made they're called sages and normally they don't have great defense but when they get to a certain level it doesn't matter anymore um so you can just leave them out and it's like they may get hit but they're not going to take that much damage and like i don't know sometimes it's just it's easy to forget that that's how the game works you know like, it's just Easy to easy to get forgetful.
So, let's bring the Kaya back. You can heal you before I send you up. Also, I don't think the music is doing that weird stuttering effect like it was before. Come on, dude. Try and dodge. What is your defense? His defense is terrible, that's why. There we go. That's why Seth is great. It's like, I shouldn't send him up here because I have a feeling this guy and this guy are both going to come down, but they also can't hit him. So maybe... Maybe it'll be okay. Ugh. Oh, I shouldn't have sent him up there. He's probably going to die now. That was, again, another bad decision on my part. Okay, well, maybe not. If they just go after Nolan, that's fine. <gasps> This is why you level people up. Because they get real freaking strong and powerful. Okay, wow. That was really close. Um, so I wonder if I can send these two. Gosh, dang it, I can't do anything. Unfortunately. I think what I can do is just use a Volnery. He should be good. Alright, let's see what happens. Yes, yes, we don't. It's just an iron glass, right? Yeah. Alright. So that's a little bit better. See if this guy jumps up. Huh? So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to bring Soth. He's probably not going to hit. Yep. We shall see. Send Sothi down there. Kill these guys. Let's send both of them down. Why not? Ugh, you should be able to attack twice. It's ridiculous that he can't. Alright, so don't have to worry about those two. And then we got two more guys coming uh, from that direction. Great, good. We 
Okay. Let's bring Nolan back up. Let's bring Sothe back up. And yes. Let's try this out. Like I suspected, he's excellent. I'm so glad I leveled him up. No one's got a long way to go. Well, his defense went up, so that's good. And his weapon class level. What's this guy have? Iron Lance. Got it. Sweet. <coughs> See how much easier that was when you properly think through things? So there shouldn't be any more people that come in. There's this guy down here, but we don't really care about him. Chesky I don't need because I have a thief or a rogue. I keep calling him a thief. So it's like a finite number of things you can carry. I think you can carry way more in this game. Actually, maybe it's less. In the other game, you used to be able to carry... Is it only seven? That's crazy to me. I think you could carry eight things, but it was four items and four weapons. making sure that the uh, sound is good for Twitch stream. I guess I could just listen to it. I have my setup a little different than I'm supposed to, but it's, I think, easier. Probably shouldn't put her... That was close. That was real dumb. I wasn't thinking. Okay. Still not going after him. That's crazy. Crazy talk. I'm gonna sop him up first. Go. Oh my god, I just, This is ridiculous. I once again cannot believe. So like the interesting thing is. You don't have to kill the boss. You can just go to the square. But I want that chest, so I'm going to kill it. Jeez, no one takes so much damage. This is insane. All right, so, unfortunately, that guy used a vulnery. I wonder if... So, that thing that just came up is support. So, whenever you do an action of any kind, if it's healing someone, if it's um, refreshing their attack, like you have a, a character who can make someone attack twice in one round, or you just attack, if you're near someone who has a support thing, they'll flash, like a, a relationship that you can, you can increase, they'll flash that uh, little support thing to let you know that they've, they've, oh my gosh. It's too close. If 
I should do is give my lower level people Everybody gets some experience points. And I got a skill bow out of it. So. There you go. Sweets. Energy drop. Okay. So sometimes you'll get items that can um, increase certain abilities, like an energy drop does strength. So, so I think strength is actually pretty good. He could use some. Mm, yeah, I'll switch it with him. And I'll take this, by the way. I could do the trading. All right, we have arrived. Glory be. Well done, everybody. Going to run in the forest. I don't know how he stole her, but he did. Especially being his. I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't we all, Micaiah? The dispossessed. Dude, you can use magic. Why don't you just magic your way out of there? Oh. Ami was from the first game? I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Iliana is definitely from the first one. Yeah, 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 they were in a merchant band together. Um, so these people know Ike, and actually Sothi knows Ike. What? I'm like so forgetting this game. So this guy is um, Prince Kurthanaga. He is a member of the Goldea Laguz tribe, so he's basically can turn into a big dragon, wavern kind of, a dragon actually. Um, so he's like the prince of an entire country. I don't, I forget why he's in prison. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> this lady's super horny for any man <laughs> literally any male character Kurth if you literally played the first game like Last night, you'd it immediately recognize who he was. Uh, so they could capture you, probably. It's what I would assume. Why? Surprise, surprise! They found us.
So she's angry about the food that they gave her. I probably would be too if I was kept against my will and they gave me crappy food. And I could use lightning magic. Alright, so these two can't fight. Kurth can fight. He's just hiding who he is. Alright, so this is level 6 against level 5. She still can't hit me. I'm gonna try it. Well, yeah, I'll try. Nice! Nice! Oh my gosh, he's like effective now that I leveled him up a little bit and gave him a decent weapon. All the iron weapons, like, suck. They suck so much. They're really, really bad. I don't really want to split the party. I'm going to direct the target over here. So basically, when you have these yellow characters, you can tell them what to do, and the computer takes care of it. Um, which, you know is fine. So, I'm in the weeds right here. I'll show you in a second what that what that means. How can you shoot through a wall? That's that's not not possible. He leveled up for getting hit. Great job, Leo. He's dead. Ah! I gotta start over again. At least I just started. I shouldn't have moved in there. It was stupid. Dun, 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 dun. Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Yes, yeah, skip everything. Come on, I don't care. All right, let's see if this guy's still just as effective. Nope. <laughs> so, so, somehow he did more damage the original. Oh, he leveled up better stats, I guess. So that's fine. <clears throat> I got a door key. So, if I move this guy here, here. Oh, sh I should not have done that. All right, well, let's just see what happens. Then. They didn't move at all. Great. This game really does not like her music. Great. See, I should have leveled uh, Ileana up way more. Because she kind of sucks in this game. There you go. Everybody's leveling up. So I guess I can get him. Normally, if they're different colored people, you can get them on your side. I just don't know if I have to talk to a specific... Like, I have to have a specific person talk with him. Probably something like that. Whew. So, um, if you look up at the top left-hand corner, it tells you what the terrain gives you a benefit for, or, or has a negative or positive effect. So, if you're in the thicket, you get 
I don't know. You get a plus one on defense and I think a plus ten on attack. Or, or like the likelihood of an attack. Like a hit. I, th I think that's what it means. Why did I put him there? It's so stupid. Draco shield? He should not use that. my allies to stop looking like idiots. Everybody gang up on Noel. Sure. Just because he can't defend himself and he's an idiot. Right, so who do I have to talk to? Very confused. Whatever, I'll try it. I didn't think they would go after her. I assumed they would go after one of the weaker ones. Oh. Alright, so. Uh, this game. I can play this game for hours, and then, like, as soon as I lose, I'm like, I never will play this game again. It's just like. So much work just to get back into it. Ugh. All right. This place is a little different. I don't want to split the team up as much. I'll have you come over here. Ugh. Of course you make me do that. Good thing is, I don't have to open this door. I'm gonna just leave it there. So what I'm gonna do... She dodged. Amazing. That never happens. It's right back to being an idiot.
Your defense sucks. Alright, so interesting thing is I know it's not Nolan Sothe. getting shot. So this guy has a javelin, I think. So he's more than likely not going to attack without a space in between. I think that's what he's defaulted to because that's what he has equipped. So if I just wait and see what he does, I should be able to have... Oh, well, forgot about that. Get it. Uh, I should play this game more carefully, but I just do what I feel like will work. Most of the time that works, but sometimes when you have, especially when you start out, especially in this game, um, everyone's just so weak and the, the enemies are really powerful comparatively. Like it was not this way in Path of Radiance. It was sort of very evenly matched. And this starts off pretty complicated. Like, honestly, like this is not a um, an easy game to start. Like some of the levels, it really ramps up the difficulty super fast. Like now I gotta shove her so that she can reach Nolan. This will die if I don't. All that crap. If he had had the other sword equipped, it would have done way more damage. Because <laughs> again, iron swords suck. They suck so much. Thank you. 
we go. I need to see if me talking to him no. No. It's maybe Ileana, maybe. Man, I really don't know where to put her. I don't want her to get hit. Probably gonna die again. Man, you just can't can't re even fully healed. You can't rely on anyone. There's like two people in the entire party you can rely on, and it's like Ike and maybe or uh, Sothe and maybe Nolan. Gosh, so annoying. It really like. I just it get the the beginning of all this gets and there's like three there's like three different parties that you control in this game I think right or, or two at least because you have this the Dawn Brigade and then you have Ike's uh, the Grell mercenaries from the first one and it's like there are the, the power levels on all of them are so vastly different it's just really frustrating all right and the same thing over again. I'm trying to do this a little smarter. Because, like, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to get that other character. The more characters you have, the more able you are to beat the levels easily. But I can't do that if, um, you know... Job, Nolan. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again.
Yes, finally. Oh my god, it's the fucking freaking sorry, freaking uh. <laughs> yeah. Finally. I can play in peace now that I know who I need to align. It's the worst when you can't figure that out, man. The thing is, he's got once again. Really, really crappy, um... This is not good. Oh, that's a little bit better than I thought it would be doing. I'm gonna beat this level and then I'm done. This is driving me crazy. Uh, at least I know how to get the guy now. That's all I was really worried about. I think maybe what I might do, if I can figure it out exactly, is. Okay, so you guys. Why didn't I switch to the freaking... Nice. She's 
good, man. Feeling it this time, we can do it. So, here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna get this guy on my side, kill all the remaining people up to those two tanks at the bottom. Yeah, I know. And then shift over to the right and come at it from that direction. Because I think... Yeah, he's down here. I think I might actually be able to, like, completely miss him. guys over here too. They won't chase Ike. Or, I keep calling him Ike. Sothic. Sothic. So, it's always people that come at you from behind. Really? How is this guy so strong? He's just a freaking archer. There we go. One less guy to worry about.
so we both got... Okay, I can just leave them there. <sighs> so I think I did all those XP. Yes. Great. See what these guys do. Yeah, they're coming up. Ugh. Really? Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm real tired of these guys. Finally. This has got a hand axe, I don't necessarily want to do that. Mm. I could try. I have the upper advantage. So close.
Oh, really? Are you kidding me? These are not good. Have to wait and see what happens. Okay, I'm done. I'm not. Can't do this level anymore. <laughs> this is too ridiculous. This is like way, way harder than I remember it being. Like just the the power that the enemies have are just crazy. Oh. All right. Well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully it was somewhat educational. Uh, I'm not the greatest Fire Emblem player in the world, but hopefully it was uh, it was at least interesting and uh, entertaining. Uh, again, you've been watching Subpixel Live. We're Subpixel. I am one quarter of the team. There are three others. We have an amazing team uh, that works on a crap ton of videos all the time. Currently, let me look at our latest video. I'm pretty sure there's some pretty awesome stuff that having to do with Super Mario Sunshine that Jake Terrio just did. Um, a whole like 40 some minute video that was really, really great. We have um, the Blaze Ball News Network that uh, Will set up. That's been really great. We have um, a video that we just put out on Halo Infinite and what its uh, game design sort of means for retro game design really interesting stuff and of course we've always got documentaries that we're working on uh, i can't tell you a lot about them right now but they are being worked on and hopefully you'll uh, tune into them when we have them all shot and edited and ready for your consumption so again thank you for tuning in you can find me at kyle of the beard on twitter and instagram you can find all subpixel content at subpixel team on twitter instagram facebook and if you just search subpixel on youtube you will find the subpixel youtube page or you can just go to subpixelfilms.com all that and more is uh, waiting for you uh, for your beautiful little eyes to watch so i hope you had a good time watching me play some old games and fire emblem even if it was kind of boring and not super action-packed but uh again thank you for tuning in and we will see you guys uh next time i believe we're streaming on tuesday so i hope you guys have fun bye